And I didn't know that they had this in him, folks. I really did not. We were complaining about Maxi. He had 29 at one point. And I'm sitting there going nuts. But what does he do? He drops 17 in the fourth quarter, five in the overtime session, and goes crazy, goes crazy in that final few minutes of the fourth quarter. And then what he does in the overtime session. Rich, I mean, your thoughts, man. We were here watching it live during our watch along, but that was tremendous work by him. Devon Gotham Knight. City for him, man. That Superhero. Is, that's an all-timer. And, you know, I go back to something we talked about before tonight's show and, and during the, the live watch along is that for a lot of this series, you know, we have been picking apart the Sixers deficiencies in this series because they lose all of the close games. We've been focusing on, ah, oh, man, their offense stunk down the stretch and, you know, the rebounding battle and all those things. And while this has happened, a lot of like the neutral basketball, smart basketball people I follow have watched this Sixers Knicks series and said, this is great. Like this is the, the people who don't care about the outcome are saying, this is wonderful. I mean, this, these are tough, close games. Every single game is close. You're getting big scoring performances. And yet here we are after every game prior to the night saying, well, the Sixers should have done this and that. And, and after game two, when the Knicks completely stole that game at the end, refs kind of stole it too, a little bit, a little bit, a <laughs> little, little help from them. But the Knicks completely stole that game, a game that the Sixers had won. Tyrese Maxey does the trick to them. And not only that, he does it with the Sixers' backs against the wall. No room for Eric Devon. If he does not make that shot, they are going home they could have gotten the rebound and kicked out for three, but they're probably bit, going home. <laughs> they're very likely going home. Devon, a 34-footer wow. from the logo. That was an all-time playoff moment. I actually just looked up. Wow. I just typed I typed up win probability on Twitter. Because you know, you know those charts where, you know, when there's a crazy comeback at the end of the game, one team has like all the chance to win. Knicks were a 96% chance to win. Up seven. I'm actually surprised it's that low. Uh, Tyrese Maxey just completely stealing that game, saving the season. And Devon, also, as good as the logo shot was, to make the four-point play, by the way, thank you, Mitchell Robinson. That was way too hard of a contest on that shot. But to take the legitimate hit, Mitchell Robinson is a big boy, Devon. And for Tyrese Maxey to take that hit and still make the shot. You know what that reminded me of? I wasn't alive for this, but I've watched a 30 for 30. That reminded me of Reggie Miller, game one, at Madison Square Garden. I think it was like 1995. Seven points in, what was that, eight seconds? Was that what it was? Yeah, and he has seven here in 17 seconds. Unbelievable. And, you know, it's so funny, too, because you have all of the Knicks fans going crazy, right? They were, they were feeling it. The Sixers looked dead in the water. All of their celebrity fans. John McEnroe has a personalized jersey. <laughs> All the finance bros <laughs> wearing their dress shirts underneath their jerseys. The shot Tyrese Maxey makes, he walks by Jalen Brunson, who is stunned. John Stewart looks like he just saw a ghost. <laughs> He's, he always sits courtside at the games. That's unbelievable. It's, it's an all-timer, and we got two more days for a lot of reasons, I think we can talk about all of the game, but just like game two, we're focusing on the last minute of regulation because that is where the game swung. And Tyrese Maxey, who has gotten better and better, who has given Sixers fans so much, gives them just an all-time playoff moment. It's wonderful stuff. It was crazy. And again, folks, one thing I, one thing I think Rich will agree with me on. We know Tyrese Maxey a little bit of how he reacts to things. And also you do too, just from watching his press conference, seeing his manu mannerisms on the floor and all of that. As we're, you know, he unfurls this 34-footer that Rich is going nuts on. And I'm like, <laughs> he should have made his damn free throws, right? Because the game would be over. I'm not wrong. But man, I didn't allow myself to just enjoy what that moment was there for him making that okay. shot. Now, okay. we can go back and I can watch the game and check it out, see it again. It's going to be all over the place. It's already on the six of social media and, you know, for what he did, calling him him for forcing that 97-97. But 
for the guy to do this after we criticize him for some bad turnovers there down the stretch, some poor decision making there on some shot attempts, thinking he needed to go up stronger at the rim and not getting a call against Mitchell Robinson and one against Josh Hart where he didn't get the, the, the call in the bucket to go, for him to have the poise, to have the wherewithal, to understand the situation, calm down, put it all together, and come out there and play like a seasoned veteran to save their bacon, save their asses to keep this season alive and give them hope and give them an opportunity Hats off to that guy for what he did. We've all talked about how good he is. And the one thing I know about him as we've talked about all these things, Rich, you know he's going to go up there and say, I should have made those free throws. Yeah. So because that's him. That's what he does. But the way that he composed himself down the stretch. And last year, James Harden did the same thing in Boston, right? We got to give James Harden credit for what he did in Boston. Over, hitting those over big a full shots. Game. Over, yes, absolutely. Tyrese Maxey did it here. And as much as Harden was good, not enough, but good here with the Sixers and Joel Embiid with their partnership, with Maxey also there with him. We've also talked about how this is Joel Embiid's best two-man partner that he has had in his career, from Simmons to Harden and now here. And with Embiid playing on one leg, not playing his best basketball. No. We'll get to him with some of the good plays that he made, but also the bad plays for which the game was where it was. Good and bad. But for Maxi to do what he did tonight, to unfurl this instant playoff classic, and this will go down in Sixers history for the guy to do this here tonight. What a performance from Tyrese Maxey, finishing with 46. How many assists did he have as I, as I look it up here right now? 46 with nine assists, five boards. He was seven for 12, folks, from three. Seven for 30. And the one thing that we said, we need to see 25-plus shot attempts from Tyrese Maxey. And with your partner, your two-man game here, unable to do anything, even though he got 19 shots off, Tyrese Maxey was the one that had to get those shots off. We wanted Tobias Harris to get 16 shots. We'll get to him because he was also really good tonight. He was very good tonight. Maxey played 51-54 tonight. It's crazy. The guy was fantastic. And the reason why they are playing outside of Tobias Harris on Thursday night is the work that Tyrese Maxey gave them. And look, you get down five in overtime, and so what do the the Sixers go to? They go to, frankly, what was some of their best offense. They went to a lot of post-ups with Joel, but they they got Joel the ball at the free throw line and ran kind of off-ball cutting. They lose Tyrese Maxey, and he is the guy. When you're down five, you get Brunson with a great response to start the overtime period. Who's the guy that brings you back? Tyrese Maxey makes the three. You're you're down two, and then you're right back in the game. So, like he just the, the kid does not stop, and it it's unbelievable. And I mean, I, I'm seeing a lot of comments in the chat about you know where are the Knicks fans at? Man, think about all of the videos we'd be watching. People <laughs> at Madison Square Garden, they they kind of they celebrate outside of Penn Station out there. Yeah, you know all, all those fans, you know. Uh, burning MB jerseys and all that stuff. I want video of those people looking sad walking out of that place tonight. And it was just because of one guy. I mean, it was more than one guy, but Tyrese Maxey, I I can't believe it, guys. I, I really can't believe it. We got a game six in Philly. I have no idea how Joel Embiid's going to make it up and down the floor for that game, but I love that we have the uh, the opportunity for it. It's, it's crazy. And frankly, like, let's talk about overtime, too. Joel Embiid struggled a, a lot of the game one of the biggest shots though the three-point play top of the key to to finish that shot and it's like i've been saying brunson and Embiid are are probably the two best players in the league at seeking that contact and still somehow making 15 foot jumpers probably because they do it more than anybody yeah um now it wasn't the best shot after contact tonight that goes to tyrese maxi four-point play on mitchell robinson huge shot there uh, frankly, Joel Embiid getting that flagrant foul, it's a little tough. A little tough. I, by the letter of the law, regular season, I don't know. In a playoff game at the end, Jalen Brunson gets... Knicks fans are going to talk about the flagrant foul <laughs> in game three. That should have been a flagrant too. Okay, I don't think that was a flagrant. I think they got the, the positive end of the call there. Maxi got fouled. He got hooked in, in, in overtime. Just a, Just a great win, man. They just... They gutted it out, right? And at some point in the playoffs, like guys, it's it comes down to just can you make the plays down the stretch, right? It's it, we're Knicks fans 
happy with Jalen Brunson after game two. He was really struggling in those two games. But when you gut out the game and find a way to win, even though the other team is making you look bad for 10-minute stretches, making you look bad in the overtime period, stealing the ball from Joel Embiid and, and getting pick sixes, doesn't matter. If, if you just keep fighting and gutting it out, I think, like we talked about how Tyrese Maxey's got a long way to go. I think he's, he, he's even going to grow as a playoff performer, kind of learning how to pick his spots. Uh, he, he's going to go a longer way as a passer, you know, finding players. Because I, I do think Joel Embiid getting doubled, there are a lot of assist opportunities for him. But that kid we know from the start of his career is fearless. I think back to the game in Atlanta, game six, 2021 playoffs. Ben Simmons is in the process of melting down. They put him on the bench at the end of that game. Tyrese Maxey has not played for most of the season. And as much as people want to rag on Doc Rivers, he wasn't as good back then, right? He was he was still shooting floaters. He was inefficient. They put him in the game. And just because he's got the cojones to play and he just he doesn't care about how big the moment is, that's going to serve him really well for a long time. And we saw... Look, guys, if they win this series, that's an all like that's like an all time, all time, all timer. All timer. I mean, you think about think about the playoffs, at least for the modern playoffs, when we think about can you think about something even bigger than that? The Raptors shot from uh Joel and B to win game three in Toronto, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was that was one that you always remember. Uh, is is there is there any other one? Um, Marco Bellinelli, but that wasn't a three; it was a two, and you still lose the game. And they right? lost. They, they lost, lost that one because of confetti. Yeah, the the confetti game. So, is there, can you think of one? This this would jump to the top for a lot I, of people. I think this is like all time in the NBA. Like we don't, we don't have to look at the Sixers. Like yeah, well, I wasn't a thirty four footer to save your season. He what? leaned in on that one too. Wow. 